So I got an upgrade for my PrinterBot Play. Um, I have the heated and extended print bed. I got the combination. You can buy either just the heated print bed or the extended bed, but I got the two of them at the same time. It was just a better deal. And uh, it was just a uh, convenience since I was going to take it apart, why not put it together uh, all at once? So what that gives you is this this extended print bed gives you an extra, I believe it's 400, 400, 4 inches of um, X, sorry, Y axis. So it's much longer. And it comes with the heated PCB, um, this thing here that you bolt onto underneath it, and that there's a it's a grid, and it heats up. Um, it allows you to uh, gives you you know heated print bed. Um, the install was relatively easy. What the kit came with was included some Allen wrenches, hex keys, um, this Kapton tape, the pr the print bed itself, the heated plate, um, a, a thermo uh, a thermosistor sensor. Um, X the longer arms and these little um, I don't know brackets here that hold the bed on. Um, it also came with this wiring loom, and I believe that was about it. It was really easy to install. It only took me about a half an hour. Um, it took me more time to look up uh, how to do it on the videos. There aren't some there, the videos aren't that clear, and I tried to actually make a video. But my GoPro is angled the wrong way, so so unfortunately I don't have a video of me um, putting this together. It didn't work out. Um, so what this allowed me to do now, besides be able to print bigger, is I can print objects that are flat um, and don't cool at the same rate with a lot more uh, with a higher success rate. So here's something I printed before, and as you can see, it's curled at the bottom here because it cooled at a different rate as it was printing all the way around, and it curled up. Um, since since that, with this heated print bed, I've printed out panels on, on this one here. Um, it's four panels, it's all put together right now, but anyways, they all lay flat. So if you can imagine this panel laid flat on the print bed, and um, I had no problems with any curling, it came out beautiful. Um, so here I'm printing out some windows that are flat and uh, no issues of curling or warping. Um, so the print bed made a huge difference. Um, to set it up, it was relatively easy in the software. You do have to tell it that you have an extended print bed. I'm using the Cure software, and you need to also tell it that you have a heated print bed, so that option comes up when you um, bring up the, uh, the menu to, to do your configuration. And you also, I think, have to um, update the G code, um, which is relatively uh, easy. I found that on the web how to do it pretty simple and then just check the forms and uh, it was really easy to follow and do. Um, so basically all, all I had to do was take off the old bed, unscrew this, um, take off the arms. There's a belt in here, took that out. Um, just put it back together the way you take it apart. It's really easy. Um, so then the, this heated bed is bolted onto this uh, plate. If you only got the heated print bed it just bolts onto your old um, print bed, so your smaller print bed. Now I do want to mention one thing, you do need an ATX power supply, so a computer power supply, so I have that back there, and I have that hooked up to a switch to turn on and off. So what that does is that power supply actually replaces the existing power supply that comes in here, that uh, that gets replaced, and you change it in, in here, you have to actually um, plug in the heated print bed in this P, uh, there's a um, uh, a computer board, a board back here um, that you have to configure, not configure, you have to plug in, and you also have to uh, plug in the thermosistor in it too, which is the thermometer um, that takes the temperature reading to keep, so it knows to either turn on or turn off the heated print bed. So all that gets done in there. Um, just so another note around the wiring is it wasn't really clear in their video how they ran the wire, so there's a hole underneath here where wire comes up for the, some of the stepper motors. Don't wire it through there. The wiring, have it just come out underneath the bot and then up. Now what I did with my wires was I actually put it in this wiring mesh, which is really nice. Just keeps it from being tangled and it looks cleaner. Um, so as you can see as it moves, 
it doesn't bind on anything, or less chance of it binding. Um, yeah, so that's about all that's to it. Also, you have to plug in the this this from here down. It came with this um, this plug that goes into the the board in here, which then plugs into just your ATX power supply. So this is built into an ATX power supply. Um, so which is a computer power supply for for those of you who aren't sure what that is. Um, so yeah, so far my impressions it worked really well. I've had really great luck with this and. In addition, with the heated print bit, now this opens up the option to print uh, ABS on this little printer. However, ABS I've read that it can be finicky. You might even need an enclosed um, enclosed printer, but I, I don't have any ABS, so I haven't tried that yet. My main thing was to reduce warpage on um, larger prints with PLA. Um, so yeah, overall, I'm really happy so far with the printer in general, and this extended print bit was just really nice to extend the size and to be able to print things uh, flatter. Alright, thanks for watching. If you have any questions around this, post them in the uh, comments below.